beautiful people top of the afternoon to you all welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for watching my beautiful videos always so if you're new here i'm coming at you straight from mali bamako so welcome to mali one people one goal one faith so like i was saying my reason for visiting mali was because i read that ghana the name ghana originated from this very land and it was given to the gold coast by kwame Nkrumah for the name to linger on when the empire of mali had collapsed so um that's my reason for visiting mali to know where my country's name originated from to know it physically yeah so all of you welcome here right now i'm with a beautiful friend who is taking me to the national park in bamako so if you want to know where the national park is kindly stay tuned and i take you right to the national park about the city is that you can see very beautiful houses mixed up with the non-beautiful ones like I don't know, they are just mixed up you can get to a place you find very very beautiful houses and then the next house is so not much like the one you have just seen so yeah when I asked a friend of mine told me that the rich and the poor sometimes they just lived mixed up together that's how they did here no discriminations and one thing about them they are so hard working they love to use their hands to work that's what i've noticed as well look at the traffic here the roads are always easy this is almost like russia yeah. so please what is the name of this place mm -hmm. this place the name uh, uh, here is Falade. Falade. okay okay so it's close to the to I, I, africa I, 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 Airport. Airport, okay, yeah. We passed by this place the last time. So the airport is in Palade. Mm, Palade Kalaba. Palade Kalaba, okay. Yeah, 
I suck at dancing. Huh? I suck at dancing. I don't know how to dance. <laughs> well, I'll try. Okay. Use the towel. Wash your face. Do your teeth. I've subscribed. So that is my channel. You are visit uh, Burkina Faso? Uh huh. Oh, good. When you come to Mali, you only go by taxi, this kind of taxis. Can you see this taxi? That's what you use when you're in Mali. Or the bike. Opportunity comes but one guys. Look what I did. I was showing you a very beautiful spot in Mali, Bamako City Center. Not knowing. My GoPro went off. And all the beauty that I was ranting about, showing you, I was so excited showing you the place. Meanwhile, I did not film it. I'm so freaking sad. I'm so sorry, the place is so packed with a lot of people. Oh, such a queue. Look at the queue, guys. No, we can't join this queue. So I better come and show you some other time. We need to come and explore some other time. That's what my guide is saying. Because. 
Maybe due to time. Look at the people. You still go? Uh huh. Okay. It's okay. Next time you can come. Mm. If only you have time. If only you have time. Uh -huh. So we'll come some other time. Uh, can I take a picture? Picture. I'm saying if I can take a picture. Mm -hmm. You wait for me. Okay. I'll let someone take me the picture. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. It's okay, let's go. Next time. I was thinking I could take a picture, but there's no parking space, so I come some other time. Wow. I wanted a thumbnail. Aww. This place is so beautiful. Mm, this is a school. Agriculture. This place is. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, my bad. We have to come some other time. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry this happened. But the queue that you guys saw is for yourself. It's not something we can handle. We could stand there for hours without being even able to enter so it's best we go and come back some other time the saddest part of this video is that when i passed on the river niger i thought my camera was recording meanwhile it wasn't like i'm so freaking sad that the camera couldn't be that place was extremely beautiful and if you see the city center where the the, the business center where offices are wow it was incredible like when I was coming from Sikasu to Bamako, the things I was saying, I was being like, okay, this is not what I was expecting. I felt like okay, it wasn't that very developed. But when you come here to the city center, the city of the river, right? It's so beautiful, you guys. But I will still come and show you some other time. Some other time. Look at that. Look at that place. Look at that place. And this city can be so busy, extremely busy. Lots of motorbikes and lots of cars as well. So if all those on the bikes would want to drive in their cars, you guys, the traffic cannot be managed in this city. That is why they opt for a motorbike most of the time than using cars. And it's incredible. It makes their movements feasible. They are able to easily move and do their business right everybody is just fending for themselves in this city guys this is my outfit of today how do you check it look at my stomach it's becoming so freaking big i've been eating so much rice and bread like uh, what it was it called sandwich or something yeah i'm not good at all those uh, foreign stuff right so but that's cool how do i look my scarf that's a tradition here so i try to copy mm. nice edifice wow ghana is live uh, abidjan uh, my brother is going to no abidjan. no no uh, ghana is brother no i say the the joueur de football yes uh. ghana is part really yes man no abidjan Ah uh, no, I don't know. I don't know where Ghana is playing. Korogo. Ah, that place. Korogo. 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 Abidjan. Now come. Korogo is a uh, uh, town of Mali. Is a uh, uh, Mali people are there. No no no. Uh, Mali is uh, playing. Yes. Okay. Uh, play. He's playing the stadium in Korogo. Korogo. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. If you are going, I can go with you. You go by plane. No, I go by. You go by this one. Yes. So I can go with you. Or you go with your family. Don't know. Ah. Uh, 
the theater of my friend. Your friend, yes. Mr. Ture? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, ask too many questions. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? From here to Abidjan, it's not far. Uh, From Mali to Abidjan, distance. Uh, uh, no, one, one day. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Wow, that's fine. Maybe it will be like something like on the Oswald streets in Accra or so. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Tumbuktu fast food. Yeah, Tumbuktu is in the north. Yes. Near Gao. Is it near Gao? You are from Dao? I'm from Tumbuktu. Tumbuktu, wow. People love to visit Tumbuktu yeah. because it has a, a lot of historical yes, monuments. Yes. But now people are afraid to go there. Hmm? Now people are... No, no, no. It's a terrorism. Uh -huh. Do you go there? Yeah, no. Ah, you are not afraid? No. They won't do you anything? Huh? Terrorists? No, no. no. Uh -huh. What business moves here faster, like in um, Mali, Bamako city? Eating. Food, food business, okay, restaurants. Yeah, you heard it from him. Here in Bamako city, yeah, I can even testify because we have a lot of bowl lingerie. Every spot there is a restaurant or a bakery. Right, alimentation. Uh-huh, yeah, alimentation. <laughs> alimentation. Me, yeah, I'm speaking French to you guys. <laughs> So we have a lot of that, so I just asked him what business moves here the most and he's telling me it is um, food business and it's true because uh, where my brother works when I go there, the people here love to buy fast food. I feel like most of them, they don't want to cook by themselves, they just want to hop in a restaurant and get something for themselves. Like they love a lot of bread and pastries, yeah, lots of cake. Mm -hmm. So generally, would you advise someone to a foreigner to come to Mali to do business? Like, what business would you recommend? Food business. Food, food business. Uh, commerce. Commerce. Market. Yeah. Market. market. Yeah, market. Commerce. Like, what kind of products? Uh, uh, All products. Uh, uh, mm. Like clothes, shoes. Clothes, food. Okay. Hmm? I can see that they rear a lot of animals too. Yeah, it's a market of animals. Ah, this place is market of animals. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is the best business you can do in Mali. Contact me. Food business. Like when people are telling you don't come to Mali, don't listen to them, right? In every country, they have the bad part and the good part. They have good people and bad people. But I feel like the bad, the good people surpass the bad people here. Because almost everybody that I meet here are so kind. I've met the kindest people here. Uh, Doctor being one of the kindest, and Mr. Tureti is very kind. Huh? <laughs> you understand what is kind? Ah, kind to someone. Uh, bien, bien. People, uh -huh. good people, and here too, they like eating meat. There are a lot of meat joints, goats, meat, uh, poisson. Ah, you want fish? No, ah. I'm saying this place, lots of poisson, poisson. Poisson, uh, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. You want to drink? Huh? Poisson. poisson is what? Drink? Yeah, poisson. Ah, no, no, not poisson. Ah, you meat. Think? Meat, uh, meat animal, viant, viant, meat, milk. Oh, meat. yes, yes. Oh. Plenty meat joints. A lot. Boku, boku. Yeah. 
Okay. One of the businesses that you can do it like generally, like you said, is food business, and the kind of food is pastries and also meats like chicken, cow, goats. People here love to eat a lot of goats, right? Goats meat. They roast it or grill it, and then you buy it. One thing is that they don't like pepper, so anytime you are here and you've got you some meat, you ask for pepper. If you don't ask, you are not going to get any pepper because they are like Kenyans here, they don't eat no pepper. So anytime you buy food, you need to ask for pepper before you are okay. If you are someone who likes pepper like me, you gotta do that. So, this is a drive through around town. What is this is called? Name? No. Yeah, yeah, it's a Korofina. Ah, Korofina. Drive through in Korofina, Bamako, Mali. Korofina. I can't do much because I'm just sitting in a car, so I can only show you. Hmm? I'm seeing this bears. That's where they sell my seeing. This is Mitsubishi cars. We call this auntie. So that's a school right there. And uh, these are shops joke apartments, you guys. They are so beautiful. Mm. Oh, these are apartments. And beneath them are shops. Yeah. They are very nice. This part of the city is so beautiful. Um, cool. mm. Alright, so here we are at ISTAC. ISTAC is an institute of technology, a university in Bamako, but I just can't tell whether it is private or public university. Yeah, but it's so beautiful. Wow, look at this one too. Look at the architecture. It is so beautiful, you guys. What do you think? Drop a comment. It's six in shops and banks. You can see Echo Bank here. Mm -hmm. Me, I want to try my car if it will work cool, but I don't want this one to know that I have money. So I'm not trying it. <laughs> mm. Look at the solar panel here. There's always light out. It's almost like Lagos, Nigeria. Since I came, I experienced a lot of uh, lightning problems. It's on and off. And what I learned was that Ivory Coast was providing them with electricity but when the military government came they desisted from providing them with electricity i don't know whether they were selling it of course they were selling it so then they desist from doing that and that is why they have a lot of lightning problem right now but i learned also they are fixing it of course it's christmas soon all the christmas um ornaments being sold in traffic yeah. ah, this is the river niger you guys hi hi oh my goodness river niger look at mabel on river niger who would have imagined interesting nothing is impossible it's better late than never The other end, the other end, right there. That place is extremely beautiful. I just want to show you the beautiful Mali that they don't talk to you about. Look at the hills far apart. Oh, city on the hill. This is beautiful. Bamako is very, very big. That's what he said. And the cities are far, far, far apart. Like from one city to another, you could be spending like an hour, right? We went to one right now on the river, the city of the river. It's so beautiful. So, I think we end the video here, and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye. L lest I forget, if you haven't subscribed already, do 
not forget to subscribe it's not too late to subscribe it's better late than never if you are doubting if you should subscribe to this channel whoa my father always told me that doubt is a killer so give it